Hi everyone, this is Annie of Blooming Crafts. Ladies, I have a mini album to share with you today. And I made this mini for a friend of mine. Um, you know guys, I love to crochet and I know that this friend of mine crochet as well. So, you know, I made this mini album to fill with some crochet patterns that I like. It's like um, the patterns for crocheting flowers, butterflies, and some hearts. And I really love them. So I, I hope that she would like these. I didn't do much so um, it's really quick and this is how it turned out I love it guys it's so cute and pretty and I love it a lot so all I did you know I try biting these um, with the accordion biting style it's the first time I try this so I'm not sure if it's right or not but it works you know it opens and it closes, and that's fine with me and I haven't seen a tutorial on YouTube. I haven't searched for one, but I saw that people do this. So, you know, I just tried it out by myself and it came out okay. And then all I did, I just used the, um, the little envelope like this. You know, I seal the envelope. I punch a slot and cut it open so I can um, have a pocket. And I just used four envelopes to make this mini album. It's really quick and easy, guys. And I used the paper from Prima. Um, the printery collection and I really like that paper I got it a while ago haven't had a chance to use it so I use it for this mini album so I'm gonna tell you real quick how I um, d decorated this so on the front here I cover it up with the paper collection and then I just you know use like some trims these were set trims that I tea dye and I made these flowers I show you how to make these on my last video so check it out if you like to make them it's really easy and these is my crochet flowers I just add some pretty rhinestone center to to it it looks really nice and I just add um, these little paper flowers um to the front and over here i stamp these images out you know and cut it out and just stick it here and it said to my friend and i really like these stamps i just got it a while ago and it's from basic gray by herard and it's the kissing booth collection i guess it it came out like during the valentine's day and i got it and i love it a lot guys it's so pretty so I used that so that's how I did the front here and on the side the spine here let me move this out I just add some eyelet trim to the spine and you know I crochet these little flowers to the hole so you it wouldn't fall off and then I add these little pearl trim and some yarn so you know it kind of like go with the crochet theme um then on the back i just put cover it up with the paper collection cut this piece out and punch the corners and i added some paper flowers here and i just wrote um handmade by me so it's really simple back cover so that's all i did to the front and back covers and then on the inside it's really simple guys i you do the same thing like throughout the entire album because you know I want it to look um, very simple and not too thick so I didn't decorate it much and then over here I use a stamp that I just show you see the image is really lovely I just stamp it with some black ink and then I added these um, crystal rhinestone flowers and it's really pretty I love it and then over here I use the modest jute um, the deep edge punch I love these and I just punch it out on the printery paper collection and I distress it with the um, distress ink can't remember the color I think it's the marigold or something it's kind of like orangey brownish orangey um, and it's really pretty I love that so um, that's all I did um, all the pages would be the same see and I just stamp like different images from different stamp sets. Just like that. I'm going to show you real quick. That and then the back look like that. I just add more um, rhinestone here. 
and then on each flaps here I don't know how you call these but this is where like you know I buy like this is where I um, bow the envelope with the a cotton thingy I don't know how to explain it and you know just to add some colors because I use craft paper and it looks so plain and I thought what would I do to it I didn't want to add trims or anything because I don't want it to be thick so I just painted that these little flaps thingy with acrylic paint and then I just use these punch out um, as stencils and it came out really cute really pretty so I just um, try to make it simple over here I painted it with a yellow and then I used the like the minty green to um, you know make these um, these pattern and then on the next page I would do green and then do the patterns the stencil thing with the pink and then I just painted it pink and do it um, with different colors so that way you know I don't have to think about it much so that's really all I did to the album guys and then I made these little tags let me pull them out okay so that's the mini and so there are four tags in here and on the front I just cover it up with some nice little paper that I got from a friend so I use them all you know to make the album like really simple and then on the back I printed the patterns out on the craft stickers it's a sticker sheet and I printed them out and I just you know like um, peel it off and stick it on the cardstock and it looks really nice so over here the this is the patterns um, the crochet patterns for the butterflies and I just stick these little butterflies here I hot glue it down and then this one is the flower so it's for the seven petal flower pattern and this is the flower that you're gonna get when you crochet it and then there are heart patterns there I have like three different sizes of heart and you know this is the large and the tiny one and then this one is the is butterfly and some flowers so it looks really pretty but it didn't take long at all because I keep it like really simple throughout the entire album and you can definitely finish this in one sitting so I really enjoy this and I might make one for myself so I can keep like all the patterns that I like to crochet and I hope my friend like this I'm gonna mail it out tomorrow well thank you for watching everyone see you soon bye bye <music>